Arisa Emily Shah Binti Azli Shah, and here I introduce to you my group. Hi, I'm Haifa Humaira Binti Ahmad Fuad. I am Ali Hanis Binti Shongi. I am Muhammad Adi Afai Bin Muhammad Adi. And I am Hadi Anadelaki Satasil. We are from SK Jeras Jaya. Today, we will present to you our innovation project, Biomass Tablet. We found that unmanaged and unplanned evidence of solid waste causes serious environmental pollution. In addition to causing air pollution, the increase in the amount of waste has resulted in more forest areas being explored for waste disposal sites. Secondly, commercialized charcoal in the market is made from our natural resources such as mangrove woods and logs. The continuous use of wood-based resources will contribute to the uncontrolled deforestation activity. If this situation continues, then the natural treasures of our forests will be affected. Therefore, we embarked on our small steps to cultivate recycling practices and shift to the use of affordable, reliable, sustainable, modern and responsible renewable energy. Why did we choose coconut waste as a basic material in biomass tablets? We choose coconut waste because it's easy to be found, which is the waste produced in the process of producing coconut milk either domestically or commercially. The high demand for coconut milk from the community contributes to the production of coconut waste as one of the causes dumping or solid waste in the environment. The first objective of our study is to utilize agricultural and domestic waste to the process of recycling coconut waste into an alternative fuel, namely biomass tablet. Our second objective is to produce an environmentally friendly fuel as an alternative to the commercialized charcoal to give consumers a wide choice in choosing renewable energy source for the supporting the seven sustainable development goal SDG agenda which is the production of affordable, rentable, sustainable and modern renewable energy as well as the SDG agenda to 12 responsible production and consumption. Our third objective is comparing the quality of alternative food from coconut waste. Our biomass table is a steam charcoal fruits made from mangroves and logs. Here are the methods for preparation of biomass tablet. First, we collect coconut waste from the coconut milk shop. Then, we dry the coconut waste under the sun. This process may take between 2 to 4 days to ensure that the coconut waste is completely dry. The higher the surrounding temperature is, the shorter the time taken to dry the coconut waste. We blend the coconut waste to produce a fine waste texture. Then we filter the blended coconut waste to remove the coarse impurities contained in it. Next, we prepare a mixture of tapioca starch flour. This solution serves as an adhesive for the coconut waste mixture. Mix two glasses of water with four tablespoons of tapioca starch and stir it until it's mixed thoroughly. When the solution is thoroughly mixed, Stir the solution slowly on the stove until the solution thickens and becomes an adhesive. Mix the coconut waste with the adhesive solution. Make sure the mixture is mixed thoroughly to form a dough. Then we use the suitable mold to form the briquettes from the mixture to all the coconut waste. Finally, we dry the briquettes under the sun for 2 to 4 days. Now I'll share how to use biomass tablet. In addition to being as a fuel, biomass tablet can also be used as a fire starter in burning work. 30 grams of biomass tablet briquettes can be used to boil 300 ml of water, fry two eggs, and bake all of the sausages completely. What are the advantages of our biomass tablet? Based on the carried out test, we found that biomass tablets comparable to the commercialized fuels in the market. The first bar chart shows the percentage of total ash comparison between biomass tablet and various types of fuels. 
Based on the following bar chart, the highest water ash content is indicated by the coal reading, which is 10.5%, followed by coconut shell 6%, mangrove charcoal 4%, hardwood charcoal 3%, and the produce biomass tablet 0.9%. Ash content represents the incombustible component remaining after a sample is completely burned. It is defined as inorganic residue that remains after the combustion of the briquettes in the air at a specific high temperature. Biomass tablet, as it was produced from domestic waste, is expected to have more binder. Therefore, the range of ash content is less than the commercialized charcoal. Good quality of charcoal briquette typically has total ash content of about less than 3%. According to Martanto 2016, the quality value of a charcoal briquette will decrease if the percentage of total ash increases. The relationship between the total ash content and the percentage of carbon can be a crucial point in determining the performance of the biomass. From this study, it shows that biomass tablet has the lowest percentage of total ash compared to the other types of charcoal. And this gives initial insight that the carbon content of the biomass tablet is also relatively lower that makes it more environmentally safer. An increase in carbon content could mean releasing more harmful carbon containing gas to the environment once it is burned. The second bar chart shows the percentage of moisture content comparison between biomass tablets and various types of fuels. Based on this bar chart, it is found that the biomass tablet has a relatively high moisture content, which is 10%, second highest after the coconut shell charcoal with a reading of 20%. This is because the relatively low density of biomass tablet briquettes made it easy to absorb moist air from environment. According to the Borgen International, the optimal moisture content of charcoal briquettes is around 10 to 80 percent. When moisture contents are lower than 10 percent or higher than 80 percent, particles of briquettes are not consistent and briquettes is tended to fall into pieces. The third bar chart shows the energy value comparison between biomass tablet and various types of fuels. It shows that mangrove charcoal has the highest energy value, which is 653 kilocalories over 100 gram, and the hardwood charcoal has the lowest energy value, which is 351 kilocalories over 100 gram. The energy value of biomass tablet lies in between these two types of charcoal, which is 448 kilocalories over 100 gram. The higher the energy value of the briquettes, the easier and better they will be burned. It means that biomass tablet is comparable to other types of commercialized charcoal. Hence, preliminary findings can be concluded that biomass tablet is very suitable to be an alternative fuel to the commercialized charcoal in the market without compromising its combustion ability. For the conclusion, biomass tablet has been proven to be able to meet the objectives of the study that have been set. Firstly, we have successfully utilized the agricultural and domestic waste through the process of recycling the coconut waste. Secondly, we have successfully produced an environmental friendly biomass tablet as an alternative fuel to the commercialized charcoal that are cleaner and safer for the consumers and the environment. Further, we have proven our support on the 7th Sustainable Development Goals SDG Agenda, which is the production of affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern renewable energy, as well as the SDG Agenda to 12, Responsible Production and Consumption. Thirdly, we have proved that the quality of biomass tablet is comparable to the commercialized charcoal in the market, whether it's the term of price, energy, and other physical characteristic. In fact, biomass tablet is proving to be cleaner and safer for the consumers and the environment. A little reminder for us to reflect together. Let's start with small actions together to preserve and conserve the sustainability of our environment. That's all from us. Thank you!